Live at five, it's Offer Review. And we're going to start off by talking about Pocket Dimension and next week's calendar. A lot of uh, a lot of chatter about Pocket Dimension. The one thing I want to say before we talk about it is when they uh, talked about Pocket Dimension originally in a, a blog post from when it first came out, they were very explicit that Pocket Dimension could show up at any time without notice. So uh, a couple days ago, we or two days ago, or was it yesterday? It was yesterday. Uh, Pocket Dimension showed up randomly, and this is not strange that there was no notice based on the information that we had in an actual blog post that said that Pocket Dimension could show up any, without any notice, and now it's been removed. And so uh, we're going to talk about what that means here in a minute based on what's in the data mines, and we're going to talk about the up-and-comers tag. But also this week, we've got Phoenix Legendary Event. We've got Shadowstar Blitz running right now. We're going to have the, the Rumble Blitz with Magneto. We've got double drops on hand right now. Uh, we're going to have a payday flash event. That's going to be on Friday. Uh, we're also going to have the Bendy Girl and the Witch, if, which is something from like three years ago. They mentioned this in the blog post. I believe a lot of people have already done this, uh, and we're just going to get the rewards, apparently, as we said. And then we've got a new event that just started right now, which is going to be the, the event that requires spending a green ISO energy from your alliance mates. And uh, camp and all of this is also running. I do believe the pocket dimension is not happening in three days. Uh, it was removed from uh, the game. And uh, I, I want to assure you that we've asked and we received no information on this. Uh, pocket dimension was removed. There was some speculation on uh, what that means. And uh, this is from Minball TV. And Minball TV is, uh, does a data miner. He has a Discord where he does all the data mines. And he was very, says, uh, so we won't have Pocket Dimension in three days. That's obvious. We'll have the traits when, when patch 6.2 goes live. So the traits, we don't know uh, what that's going to be at all. So we're going to find out. But a lot of people were uh, talking about the up-and-comers uh, trait. Uh, the Friday's blog post was fairly specific what that up-and-comers trait was going to be for. But that was going to be for a Rising Star Pride event through this uh, through this month where you will get bonus points uh, inside of a, a Blitz milestone type of an event. So that's what that tag is for. So I hope nobody is uh, upgrading any characters yet until we get more definitive information. Uh, I, 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 in general, I think that until we get official in-game notice or a blog post notice saying XYZ characters are used for this event, I would say going off data mines or speculation in upgrading characters in advance generally is a, a bad idea uh, just for pocket dimension. So let's move on. Uh, oh, Agatha, oh, Agatha, where art thou, Agatha? Uh, and, 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 and added to the orbs already. I don't think they're going to do that. This is a thing that, we, that happens with Scopely on important teams. One team, one person in that team is usually more scarce than others. And if we can just go back to... Uh, Black Order, for example, and Call was added very, very late. Or if we can go and talk about Infinity Watch, it was Moon Dragon, And there's countless examples of this, but typically there's one team member on every team that is they just don't make available for a long, long, long time and make them ultra scarce. And that is going to be, unfortunately, Agatha. Not expecting Agatha to be made available anytime soon is my current prediction please fix the crucible 75 percent zoom yeah it looks weird i have a difficult time looking at the positive effects in the game mode it's off it's it's like out further and, and everything gets squished together it's not as bad when i play on blue stacks on my pc but when i play on my phone i've had some difficulty with it also the power levels we've we've had no messaging whatsoever on that uh, I'm guessing that we're not going to get any information on this as well, but please understand that when you're battling in Cosmic Crucible, the power levels are all whacked out, and it's a better strategy to look at the, the rings and try to determine the gear tier, specifically if they're above gear tier 14, because there's a massive power boost when going from gear tier 14. I know a lot of people have been thrown off by this, and Oh, uh, you know, lost matches. And, and there's actually something very deceptive about going from 13 to 14. There's not a huge power increase, but there's actually a fairly significant stat boost going from 13 to 14. So seeing characters, if they're at that 14 threshold or higher, it's kind of important to look at the rings and understand what that is 
uh, for sure. Then, lastly, unlocking costumes should also change avatars. Uh, this is a no-brainer. Uh, so I think a lot of these things are going to be... Uh, we're going to be waiting for the next patch. Uh, in the blog post, they suggested that the patch would be basically a week from this upcoming Tuesday, uh, tentatively. So I believe right now we're about 10 days out from the patch. Let's go into offer review. We're going to take a look at a couple of the offers real quickly here and see if there's anything of interest. I'm just getting logged into the game. And then we're going to go into the offers. Here we go and see what we've got. All right. Uh, first things first. We've got the Disco Diva offer. So um, if you look at how many Spider-Woman shards you have, uh, her event is playing out the same as Spider-Woman. So that's a good reference point. Uh, and if you're able to finish it, like yesterday, there was a one core offer. You have to be on top of those one core offers to get the Disco Balls because the event is kind of designed in a way for you to be just slightly short a couple Disco Balls towards the end of the event. It's a month long event. So we got two razzle dazzle orbs right here and a 14, I value these at $3 a piece and that about 15 cents. Doesn't quite add up to $10. It is what it is. Those are the proper orbs that give, uh, you know, 9.3 on average. Uh, then right here, we've got the victory blueprint daily energy offer. So this is going to count towards uh, the, the, the blueprint event uh, that's running right now where the, the very precious uh, level four ISO uh, is for blue ISO four. Uh, do what you got to do. I just think that this is all about, you know, whether or not you were able to um, save any of your uh, war rewards from the, the, the week prior is going to determine how well. And then there's the, the first item I don't remember is, but it's part of the Dazzler item. It gives a bunch of uh, Dazzler orbs. I know it was like Jessica Jones jacket last month. This month, I believe it's something like... Uh, a necklace of some kind but anyways it's a, it's midpoint in the event i think that is the main target is to at least get that uh earrings there we go the earrings thank you to get the earrings for the event so be, i think that's a good goal get the earrings and if this helps you get the earrings because then you get the boost on the dazzler orb event when you get the earrings so same event right there all right mega orb bundles so we've got two mega orbs and six uh, six uh, training material orbs. Uh, I, I, I have rotten luck myself personally with mega orbs. I know a lot of people like them. I, I think they're worth about $5 a piece. And then we've got six orbs at a buck and a half a piece. So that adds up to 19, nine and a half dollars. So using boomer math, this is like a 19 and a half dollar offer if you value mega orbs at five bucks a piece. Problem is this, is that every time I personally open a mega orb, feel like I'm flushing five dollars down the toilet because it's just ultimus food I, I and may, your experience might may vary if uh, if you want to catch up on newer characters and you don't have all the a lot of characters maxed out also I'm going to say that that my opinion on this might change going forward because they've been super stingy on launching characters ever since let's say November of last year and it seems like there's a a larger number of characters in my roster uh, that are uh, not farmable, not available. So maybe the odds have gone up slightly on Mega Orbs. Maybe they're worth more than a buck or two to me. Maybe they're actually worth five bucks. Let's just scroll through all the garbage offers and see if there's anything of interest, and then we'll toggle over to the free-to-play account. Looks like it's a relatively uneventful day as far as offers. Let's go and switch over to the free-to-play account. There is a Prepare for Phoenix offer. Phoenix will be next week. So we've got some villain mystic controller characters. Uh, she's a five-star unlock now. And so we've got Loki, Mordo, Ronin, Nobu, and Hand Assassin. $35 for 150 character shards. These two characters are largely unplayable. There is a hand event that they're useful for. And uh, I do use Loki just for his passive to speed up Cersei on certain eternal matches. But I don't really use Mordo on... Uh, the, whatever that team is called, Dark Hunters, I actually use, uh, uh, Namor there instead of Mordo, so, I don't know, I don't really use these four characters that much outside of Blitz, but, it, you know, if this helps you unlock Phoenix, it is what it is. All right, let's keep going, see if there's any other offers of interest, and then we'll wrap up offer review, and see, I don't think we have any other offers today, I think today is duds. I think what we're all really waiting for is Gambit, and hopefully that happens here soon. 
Uh, Gambit for me seemed to be a pretty decent plug and play character. I'm, I'm definitely more excited for Gambit than I am for Dazzler or Phantom X. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Keep on gaming.